Hi, I'm Gary Fee, Director of Product Management here at GPS Air. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the effects of the interaction between MPBI generated ions and smoke particles in the air. For apparatus, we have a six inch acrylic tube which is divided into two equal volumes. One side will serve as a control, showing how the smoke naturally reacts, and the other is fitted with a DM2 ionizer, which is mounted on a flexible DMS saddle. We will use a smoke generator that uses a glycol-based solution to serve as a surrogate for natural smoke. We'll fill each side individually. First the control volume. and then for the ionizer volume. And we'll just overfill this a little bit to make sure that we have at least as much smoke in as in the control volume. We'll turn the DM2 on and then rotate the apparatus to make sure that you can see each volume equally. And so we can see the volume that's been treated by the DM2 has virtually cleared now. The control volume will eventually dissipate, but it's going to take a very long time. You can see now through the, we can't see through the control volume, but you can see the DM2 device at the back of the chamber that's being treated. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please visit us at gpsair.com.